Welcome back to the All Seasons channel. Today, Cameron and I are going to start working on this pop-up. It's a Dutchman. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what the uh, people in the RV business say about Dutchman. But <laughs> Anyhow, um, this one uh, will not raise up. Uh, it is a cable system, but it's a completely different cable system uh, than that Viking. I believe it was a Viking that I did uh, earlier this year. So uh, we're going to see uh, what's going on with this one and uh, we're going to take y'all along. Hey, you know what? Right now would be a fantastic time to go down, go down there and give me a like. Hey, uh, you might even leave me a comment. If you haven't subscribed, you might subscribe. If you subscribe, you might ring that notification bell. All this stuff makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside when you do it. So please do it. For me, do it for Cameron. If you want to do it for me, do it for Cameron. All right, we're gonna go see what's going on with this one. The lift mechanism on this one, on this Dutchman pop-up, is all under the floor. All the cables are under the floor. So uh, we're gonna get this thing uh, jacked way up, uh, set it on some jack stands, get as high off the ground as we can safely, and so we can get under it and uh, we'll see what's going on. All right, well, me and Cameron got this thing up off the floor. Um, that might look a little precarious to you, but it's rock, rock solid. Because, um, I'd say all the, uh, all the mechanisms are underneath on this one. So, uh, uh, we're going to go underneath and see what's going on. This is where the, the crank is at. And all of our, uh, all of our mechanisms are under the floor on this one. So, the, this only has one cable. It comes from this winch. goes inside goes inside that tube right there goes out to the end i'll show you that in a minute it goes out to the end to a pulley it actually one side of the cable pushes one direction and then the end pushes i mean everything's pulling but still it's pushing springs inside these this is just like a half inch conduit and this is where you're this is where your pusher springs go. And then they just, uh, they just curl around and go up inside the legs, just like the other one. Now this tube here's got a kink in it. See the kink? I believe this tube will have to be replaced. I wonder if that's what made the cable break. They got a kink in this tube and they tried to raise it and uh, broke the cable there's always something i mean these cables don't just break for no reason there's always a reason that they break and i wonder if that's it well actually that one's got a kink in it too all right well actually they all four have a little kink in them i think this one's just kinked a little bit more than the rest of them but okay well apparently that kink's supposed to be there because this one's got it, and uh, I can see both front ones have it too. Let me get this cover off this. Sorry, probably making y'all dizzy. Let me get this cover off of uh, off here and see exactly where the uh, cable broke at. dump that out put the, then put them screws in it and set it up on top well there she is well, I'll get a piece of that cable off there to see what size it is and be making a trip to Lowe's to buy some cable yeah I'm gonna take you up front here in just a minute and show you that that one pulley because it's just got this one only has one pulley uh, that last one I done you know it had it a bunch of pulleys, but this one only has one. Yeah, this one here, we're gonna have to, we have to get this tube, for better lack of a better term for it, it's, it's a square looking thing, and uh, we would have to get this completely out of here. It's been a long, long time since I worked on one of these pop-ups. Uh, gotta get the tubes off each end. Uh, there's a few screws in the middle of it, and uh, this thing comes right out of here. Alright, 
I got them screws out. We gotta get everything else out, and then this comes, this comes down, I believe. I don't remember. We'll find out here in a minute. We'll find out together. There's the pulley I was talking about up front, and uh, seems to roll okay. I don't really know what made the cable break. Usually, usually there's something. So I don't know. I'm just not really seeing anything this time. So I'm gonna get finished getting that mechanism out of there so we can see what's going on with it. <laughs> Now I gotta get four screws out of these brackets here and that whole mechanism should drop down. I believe we're gonna have to take all four of these corners loose, uh, let these um, spring tubes drop down, so to release the pressure on that uh, on that mechanism underneath. I think. Just gonna go around and do all four corners. Take them, uh, take them lift tubes loose on the corners. All right, we got all four corners loose, so so this should uh, this should come out of here now. These springs are covered in grease. Old sticky grease too. It's not not, not very lubricating. The uh, the two front pusher springs are actually bolted together, so they come out together. Um, they go right up in that in that tube right there, and uh, I'm gonna go on the other end and uh, pull those springs out just like I did here. Maybe I'll get better video of it than I did of this. All right, we're just gonna pull. We're gonna pull these back two springs out with with the mechanism and all. If we can do that, I might have to take the pulley loose up front. And we're gonna have to unbolt that pulley up front to be able to do this. So yeah, I'm gonna run up there real quick and do that. All right, I got that pulley uh, loose up front, so we're just gonna pull everything out of here all at once. Pulley's stuck on something right there. As soon as we get it loose, pull that all the way out here. There it is. These are the rear. These are the rear pusher springs, and the tubes they go in, and all the magic happens right in there. That uh, that cable just goes just goes through that tube. Actually, you know, it goes out through that tube, out to that pulley, and back into the tube. And uh, one uh, one pushes, and it pushes <laughs> both ways at one time. I don't know. I'll I'll get this finished getting this apart, and uh, hopefully I can show you exactly how that works. 
We was having trouble getting these springs to pull out. I think we figured out why. <laughs> had, a, had a rat's nest in there. Yeah, I had everything gobbed up. So, flies real easy now. <laughs> so this, uh, they just put a furrow in the middle of this cable right here. And it goes on this, this little tab, pushes on these springs. Springs are not attached to the cable. Just when you slide them in there like that, they can't they can't go anywhere. They can't go wrong. The springs are bolted together. Um, so uh, so that cable is pushing one set of springs one direction, and it's pushing the other set of springs the opposite direction because it goes through that pulley out there. Um, Need to find the other end of that cable. And these these springs are covered in old grease. Uh, it's that's a that's a nasty job. There's the other end. Looks just like just looks like this end. So it goes around that pulley out here. Such. So when you're cranking it, this one's moving this way, and that other one is moving that way. Pushing the springs two two opposite directions at the same time. I told you it was magic. A lot of magic happening in here. Uh, all right. Well, I am going to um, probably call this one done for today. Go go to Lowe's and uh, get some cable and some furls, proper size furls, and. Uh, and maybe sometime this week, me and Cameron will start putting this one back together. So uh, that's going to be it for right now. Cameron asked me a while ago how that thing worked, and I actually come up with, a, I think, a pretty good illustration. Uh, the cable leaves the winch and goes up through that square tube, and in, this, in the middle of it, they put a furrow. Then it goes up around the pulley and back into that mechanism. So, and another furl there at the end of the springs. This one is at the end of these springs. So when you start cranking that thing, it actually just does right like that. It's pushing, pushing the front springs and pushing the back springs at the exact same time. And that's how that thing works. So, I thought that was a pretty good illustration. <laughs>